30 to 80 grams, the support is there. That Zoom has a distinct improvement uh, on IPSS, so uh, I, symptom scores, full race. So if you do a uh, the recommended, a guideline recommended discussion um, with patients about the treatment options and mention those comparisons um, and patients choose to go in that direction, feel completely supported by the AUA guidelines. They support that after a discussion you know, of the issues. So completely, um, completely opposite to what some people think that, well, it's step therapy. You must take medications and fail before you graduate to something. No, the guidelines never said that ever. The guidelines always supported a discussion between patient and physician to come to uh, uh, an understanding of priority uh, and understanding of the outcomes. And so there's a really a good rationale to consider a missed first these days. In fact, many men are not motivated to take a lifetime of medication, or let's just say years of medication. Um, and you know, it's legitimate to support that desire. Other things I think to consider is, um, what's the patient's priority? <laughs> I mean, the patient says, hey, I'm not a pill taker. Um, great, um, you got support to do it. Um, patients who want to maintain sexual activity don't want to lose a sexual function. So size, patient motivation, um, patient philosophy, you can't ignore their priorities. You know, there's a pill taking phenotype and then there's a let's get it one and done kind of phenotype. And if the man wants to go in that direction, you have every reason to support it.